Number 74. Sulfuric acid is the industrial chemical produced in greatest quantity worldwide. About 90 billion pounds are produced each year in the United States alone. Write the Lewis structure for sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4, which has two oxygen atoms and two OH groups bound to the sulfur. All right, so they give you a little heads up as to how to start drawing H2SO4. They're telling you that you have two regular oxygen atoms, so just O, and then you have two OH groups, so uh, bound to the sulfur. So that technically means that sulfur should be the central atom. So we have sulfur in the middle, then I have my two oxygens. I'm going to put them right here. Actually, I'll make these the OHs. So I have OH on one side and OH on the other side. Now, I just want to say that this is not going to be OH written like this. I'll show you, right, OH, because this implies that the H is in the middle. And remember, H can never be in the middle. So we want to keep it like that. And then we have just the two random ones that's still bound to sulfur, so we get something like this. So that's the backbone. Now remember, if you guys know my foolproof Lewis structure method, we have the backbone, and now we just have to apply the valence electrons. So sulfur has six valence electrons, so six dots we're going to place around sulfur. Oxygen also has six, so we're going to put six dots around oxygen. And hydrogen has one, so we put one dot around hydrogen. So I'll put one dot for hydrogens, one dot for hydrogen. I'm going to put six dots for each oxygen. So that takes care of this one. I'll put six dots around this oxygen. I'll put six dots around this oxygen. And it doesn't really matter where you put your dots, just as long as you have six around the corresponding um, atoms that need to have it. And then for the sulfur, we're also going to put six around it. So I'll put one, two, I don't know, put three, four, and then five, six. And you make a single bond per each connection. You always start off with just a single bond. So from electron to electron, that's a single bond. Electron to electron, we'll do one down here. Electron to electron, electron to electron, that's a single bond. Like that, and like that. And now we check the outer elements to see if they have the octet. Remember, the octet rule means that majority of them want to have eight electrons when they're done bonding. However, the exception is that hydrogen, in this case, only wants to have two electrons, which it does. This hydrogen now has a single bond, which represents that it has two electrons. So this is good. That means I will not change this single bond. And the same thing goes with this hydrogen. It has a single bond, so this hydrogen is good. Now let's check these oxygens. This oxygen has two, four, six, eight electrons, so that one has the octet. I'm gonna give that one a check, which means that I cannot touch this bond, and I can't touch this bond. This oxygen has two, four, six, eight electrons. It has the octet, so I'm gonna give that one a check, which means that I can't touch this bond or this bond. Now let's look at the other oxygens. This oxygen has two, four, six, seven electrons. Eh, it's almost there, but not quite. And this oxygen has two, four, six, seven electrons. So it's almost there. Now we're gonna have to start making those multiple bonds, the double bonds. And that's where you take one electron from one atom with the other electron, and that will make the double bond. So here I go, I'm gonna make it here to satisfy that guy's needs and satisfy this oxygen's needs. And now we just double check again. This oxygen has two, four, six, eight. So that's perfect, give that one a check, which means that I can't touch these double bonds anymore. And then this oxygen, whoop, this oxygen has two, four, six, eight electrons. So we are good. Now, if we wanna check the central atom to see if it has a octet or not, this one has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 electrons. Is that possible? And the answer is yes. In this case, this is the expanded octet. And the only reason why sulfur can have an expanded octet, AKA more than eight electrons, it actually can have up to 12, is because it's below the second period on the periodic table. This period 
from boron to neon is the second period. This is the third period. So any atom, if it's in the center, that's below the second period, so like phosphorus, chlorine, selenium, bromine, iodine, they can all have more than eight if necessary. But can they still have an octet? Of course they can. But in some situations, they can have an expanded octet. You could have a max of 12 electrons. And that's that. This one, they just wanted the Lewis structure, which is what we just drew here. It's all nice and pretty. Makes me happy. And number 74 is good. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully I helped you guys out. If you want to help me out and our company and the channel out, hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. And I thank you kindly for that. That means a lot to me. Um, yeah. So have a great day. Keep studying hard. You got this. I'll be here every step of the way for you guys. So I'll see you all in the next question. See you then.